What is the worst decision you made as a teenager? I rode in the bed of a truck. We'd gotten out of school and my friend and I were talking about our cars we'd parked at a friend's house a couple of streets from the school. A buddy of ours pulled up and asked if he wanted a ride, and I said no because normally I would never ride in the back of a truck, but my friend climbed in, so I did too. We made it to the end of the street and started to make a turn onto the highway, no more than 30 seconds after getting in, when we were T-boned. The truck did a 180 and I flew out and landed on my head on asphalt, broke my C5 vertebrae, had to wear a neck brace for 7 months and had my neck fused a year later and did tons of physical therapy, all because I rode in the back of a truck for half a minute. Not wearing deodorant because I read somewhere that your body odor can turn girls on. Sitting around thinking about all the fun my friends were having without me rather than actually doing anything myself. I latched onto and obsessed about one girl for far too long, when it was really clear she wasn't into me. I may have passed up other opportunities while having my blinders on too. We were both in the same physical education class, and every Friday we would run the mile and track our times, and the second half of the year I was the fastest runner in our class, which apparently impressed some classmates, unbeknownst to me. All the guys would run at the same time, then all the girls would run at the same time, so half the class was in the bleachers watching the other half run at all times. At the end of the year, this girl wrote in my yearbook, Did you know that some of the girls sit around in the bleachers and talk about your miles times? Whatever. I didn't get into enough trouble as a teenager. I feel like I missed out on a lot of fun by generally being a timid, perfect kid. I joined the debate team and started to regularly wear a fedora. The narrator has to wonder whether you exhibited the stereotypical behavior of a fedora wearer or whether that was just a sad coincidence. Then again, if you were on the debate team, I could imagine you regularly used the phrase, well, actually. Screw it, all of my friends know this about me anyway. I was 15 at the time, I didn't know about adult magazines yet, and the only female chest I saw was on my mum, accidentally. About a week after that unfortunate incident, me and my then-girlfriend were making out on the sofa, my parents weren't home. Jackpot, right? Wrong. As things get steamy, she takes her top off. Unaware of what to do and the horrors of my mum still fresh in my mind's eye, I ask her to put her shirt on. Six months later, when we break up, ah, young love, she tells everyone. I managed to cover myself by saying that my parents were coming home. Screaming at the screen while using both pistols to play the Area 51 game at a truck stop off Interstate 57, after snorting white snow for the second time. Being a craphead to my parents and not trying harder in school. I made a joke about assassinating George Bush on my MySpace in 10th grade. It was a complete joke. I was and still am a fan of The W. Nevertheless, my father got a call from the FBI and I had to come in and talk to some people about what I put on the internet. It was terrifying, mostly because I was scared they were going to tell my dad about all of the gay adult material I visited on his computer. But looking back, that probably wasn't on their agenda. A fan of George Bush and gay adult material? That seems a little counterintuitive. Mine is simple, I just decided not to use protection. Being lame, I didn't really start to be social and enjoy life until my senior year in high school. From ages 13 to 17, I was just a boring guy who sat inside and played his MMO all day long. No girlfriends, no friends, no going out, no exercise, nothing. I don't know how I didn't do anything about it sooner. Dude, I did the same thing in high school. No parties, I just hung out with good friends, played a crap ton of video games and basketball. Never had or kissed a girl either. The minute I turned 18 and was a freshman in college, it all changed. It's so much easier to find women in college because it's a fresh start to create a new you. Not being the same person that everyone you grew up with knew. Breaking up with my girlfriend in senior year because I wanted more time to smoke green herb. Being too shy to establish a large network of friends. Coach not putting me in. We could have won state. I could have went pro. When I was about 17, I got a piercing on my chest from a guy in the back of a van for £10. That was not my smartest moment. Also, Matt, just skip this comment, pretend it never happened. If you tell any of our mutual friends, I might let slip about you searching for adult material on YouTube. 
I got married. I studied hard, didn't hang out with friends, and now stuck in a boring desk job. Wasted my youth. I hung out with friends and got horrible grades. Now I work sanitation at a cheeseball factory 57 and a half hours a week for 630 bucks. It blows. It's 100 degrees ambient temperature in the area I work in, and I use 180 degree water to spray machines, and everyone constantly slips on the greasy floor while we rush to finish our job in time. I have barely enough money at the end of my budget to actually save for college. I'm a very smart guy and could be an engineer right now, had I worked in school and acquired the scholarships I needed. Also, it turns out my friends were all losers. So now I have no college, no money, no life, and no friends. A a 60-hour-a-week job from 4pm to 2am. I think everyone complaining they studied too hard made a pretty good choice. I didn't go see my grandpa in hospital. It didn't even occur to me that he wouldn't be okay, and my friends just seemed so important. I'm so sorry, Grandpa. I didn't ask out the girls I liked. Now that I'm out of school, it's so hard to meet girls. Set a cop car on fire with a bunch of friends. I started smoking when I was 15. I spent 20 years addicted to cigarettes and 6 addicted to nicotine gum. I finally kicked nicotine four months ago. What a colossal waste of money and time. Stealing money from my grandparents to fuel my white snow habit. I've learned to handle my problems through therapy and medication, but now, more than 10 years later after I stopped, I still have disgusting large scars from my wrists to my elbows that people also find equally disgusting. I can't date anyone because the scars scare them off. Often, strangers point them out, rudely. Yes, it's my fault and I wish to God I could afford surgery to fade the scars so people could see me as normal. What I did to myself is so fricking lame, especially when you're a real adult. Please don't do it. So, half of the comments are along the lines of didn't work hard enough, only thought about partying, now screwed without a job, and the other half are studied too much and didn't have a social life and now screwed without friends. What do I choose? It almost seems as if finding a balance between the two might be ideal. Or you could just do what the narrator did and neglect both of those aspects of high school and play many hours of video games instead. Don't recommend, to be honest. Getting engaged. Fortunately, I realized my mistake before the knot was tied, but still. The breakup would have been so much less traumatic if I hadn't had to return a ring and a dress. Not enjoying high school because of a relationship. Being too self-conscious to go out and have fun, dating the same guy all throughout high school instead of trying new things, procrastinating so much that I got really average grades, and not getting a job so that I could buy a car. Also, not learning to drive. Mine was telling Reddit that I was a teenager. Not giving a crap about my grades. I mean, I knew the material, I knew how to do it, I just didn't do it. Got caught drinking at a company Christmas party when I was 18. I was a server at Outback, making roughly 700 bucks a week while going to school. Got fired, didn't know what to do, so I joined the military. Now I'm back in Afghanistan again. I'm still a teenager and I'm checking these stories from others to help give me advice for my future. Though to contribute, I haven't done much yet. The worst thing I did was cramming. I got so used to it that until now, I let my homework pile up and when the deadline was coming, I actually waited for the latest possible time to do the homework and end up sleeping very late. Yep, every time. While I was in high school, I used to smoke the wacky tobacco frequently. Skip ahead a couple of years, I moved in with my dad, who I'd just met months prior, and I'm going to a new school. I decided to buy some green herb and smoke that to relieve some of the stress I was having. It had a very negative effect on me and I experienced some kind of blackout and panic attack. I woke up in the nurse's office with no clue how I got there and paramedics all around me. Skip ahead to later, I ended up dropping out of school because of the panic disorder I developed. Now I can't go around any kind of smoke. It triggers the blackouts. I frequently have miniature attacks. I convinced myself the Mary J was laced with something. So a few years later, I decided to try it again. I was quite wrong. I have a reaction to it, and a bad one. I woke up in the hospital for a second time. I regret that I didn't take a gap year before starting college. Not taking advantage of it. 
Instead of chasing tail and getting into a good college, I played video games, nerded out with my friends, and kept my V-card. Besides that, I really wish I could have joined the Navy when I'd planned to join. I'd be out right about now, and I'm considering that option again. You can submit your own stories to be featured here on the channel. The story submission link is in the description below. And if you want to listen to some vibey music in the background, check out Easy Mode, also linked below, and subscribe. Believing that no one would like me anyway. Staying inside the whole day. The day I graduated, that one girl came up to me with teary eyes and cried onto my chest while hugging me. I didn't get it. I was cold and turned her down with some words I can't remember. I never met her again. I don't even know her name. I was out celebrating my 18th birthday a couple of years ago. An unmarked narc car pulls up as I was walking home with my significant other. They were being jerks and ended up taking me to the station. The whole time they were telling me how they also locked up my friend and were going to have their way with her when they finished with me. I then told them to let me use the bathroom, but they didn't allow it. So I stood up, still cuffed to the bench, and posed as if I'm going to go on the floor. The cops jumped up and escorted me to the bathroom. Once we got in, they surrounded me and one of them punched me. Fighting ensues, I break someone's kneecap, got taken down by five cops, and got tased. Fun night. In short, breaking a cop's kneecap. Got a year of probation. Smoking Mary J that led to me being expelled my freshman year from my private high school. Really screwed stuff up. I screwed up as well. Got expelled three months before I graduated. Obviously, I did something wrong, but doing that in a small town where, ironically, almost everyone smokes green herb is a big deal, apparently. And two weeks later, some wrestling kids got caught with worse than what I did and only got two weeks' suspension. I'd never been in trouble until then, but stats and money look better for them. It ended up putting a strain on my four-year, sometimes long-distance relationship, and two months ago, she left me two months before I was supposed to move in with her. I freaking love that girl so much and I'd do anything for her, but I simply can't. It kills me every day. Dating one of my best friends. It ended terribly, lost someone who was a good friend at one point, put up with hell for longer than I wanted to. On the bright side, I learned more about myself and won't make that mistake again. The narrator would like to say that dating one's best friends can be a good decision. It's just a high stakes one for most people. But then again, some of us are capable of sleeping with our friends and, if anything, being better friends after it ends. So take this author's lesson with a grain of salt. Attempted for a short moment to act like an emo, then stopped and moved on with my life. That was a better idea. Ah, emo kids, that takes me back. I used to be a security guard at a somewhat fancy mall in an upscale part of town. We had a problem with the teen population congregating there. Mostly, it was emo kids. Up and down the mall, They'd be everywhere, stalking around and trying to look depressed. It's not like they were threatening in any way. Many of the store managers blamed them for hurting business, though. Many of the older shoppers, the ones that actually spent money, started migrating to a different mall across town. So the mall I worked for instituted a new policy. No teens could be at the mall, except for the movie theater and nearby food court, unless they had an adult with them. The first few weeks of this policy, I spent most of my time finding emo kids and kicking them out. Within a few months, most of the older shoppers returned. Still, it was one of the lamest jobs I've ever had. Not trying out for the football team. Seems like a brotherhood, and I bet I would have released a lot of teenage angst either knocking people down or getting some brain damage. I did this going into my freshman year of high school. I was a doughy, uncoordinated, dorky kid, but I wanted to reinvent myself as a jock going into high school. It kinda worked, but the jocks never accepted me, even though I'd gotten lean and into shape. I was never any good at football, so the coaches rarely put me in games. So all it ever was was a very involved workout program for me. It did make a man out of me in that I learned how to take physical punishment and keep on toiling despite discomfort. In the end, I stuck with it until my junior year when I said screw it and switched to cross country. That made me way happier. I let my depression get in the way of my education. I never told my parents. I'm sure they would have helped me, which in turn could have helped my grades. Oh well, C's get degrees. Doing substances in high school would have been fun as crap. I was sober for over 18 years. Worst decision I made as a teenager was to start smoking cigarettes. I started the summer between my 8th grade and freshman year when I was 13 years old, and quit when I was 30. Kinda. Being obsessed with finding the one in my teenage years. 
should have had more fun in those relationships instead of obsessing about settling down. Not wearing a jimmy. I got lucky, no kids, no diseases, but I still wonder if I might have a kid that I don't know about, and if I don't, it was just because of dumb luck. I did nothing to protect myself from transmitted diseases or knocking someone up, and I would screw anyone who'd hold still. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kinda seems like you're humble bragging about having a whole bunch of unprotected fun with loads of women. Can I just say as a teenager, this thread is really useful. 50% of you say, screw it, I worked too hard. 50% of you say, screw it, I didn't work hard enough. It really clears everything right up. Thanks. Dropping out of high school. Eight years later, still confined to dead-end jobs. Only just starting to scrape my way out of poverty. I eat at least once a day now. That's nice. I was a straight-A student. I could have been anything I wanted had I set my mind to it. I have no words to express the regret. Drinking. I honestly think it's heavily influenced my long-term memory as an adult. Decided that tickling my pickle underneath a desk in the library was a good idea. It turns out it wasn't. Not doing the deed a whole lot more with other randy teens. It's more about what I didn't do. I didn't make an effort to have friends, lose weight, or date. I just assumed it would all come to me and just happen. But nothing did. I'm very pleased with all the traveling I did, though. Road trips and stuff. Playing too many video games and not doing well in school. I successfully had no social life and like no job opportunities once I left. I should have really listened to my parents. But hey, what the hell would they know, right? I was a teenager. I knew everything. Ignoring the advice and help offered by my mum in regards to eating healthy and exercising. Years of bad posture, zero fitness, and horrible diet takes a long time to correct. Well, I can't in all honesty put that missed opportunity just down to being a teenager. I know many people who live into their 50s without ever doing those things. Granted, they tend not to live much longer after that, but maybe that's to be expected. I put my eggplant in crazy. No teenage regrets. Nothing but regrets from 18 through 28, though. Stealing my grandfather's codeine while he lay dying in the hospital because I was an addict. Sorry, Papa. Missing the housing deadline for freshman year. Eating the way I did. I can't blame it on genetics, even though both of my parents were overweight. My brother chose to eat better and exercise regularly. I was just lazy. I mean, he'd still choose to eat the bad food, but when he did, he knew that he had to work it off. He's a very healthy guy to this day. Now I'm almost 30 and just getting to the point where I'm sticking with a healthy diet and plenty of exercise. And recently, I had the opportunity to eat some of that pre-packaged processed food and fast food. It doesn't even taste that good. My health, thankfully, has not failed me, with the exception of a broken vertebra and fibromyalgia, but I no longer want to lead that life. I'm paying the price for my bad choices and laziness. Not talking to chicks more. They were easier back then. Wasting my time being fat and not making out with guys. Well, I'm still fat now, but at least I recognized it at the ripe age of 19 and I'm doing something about it. Not bothering to try and better myself by perusing a career that makes more than minimum wage. Got fired from a job because I continually went in blazed. It still keeps me up at night from time to time. I regret the time spent on not studying while in school. I scraped by really the minimum to get a general degree. Studying comes really easy to me, but if I'm not interested in the material, I have no motivation. I think my average was a 6.2 out of 10. Everything above the minimum was a wasted effort to me. Now I'm learning to paint cars in school, and after the first semester, I got a 999988 in grades. All of these out of 10. Being interested makes all the difference. Can't wait for summer to be over. <laughs> It's quite the opposite from what my views on school were. I might go to a university sometime in the future, but for now, I'm loving it. I started college at 17. I picked out a local college because I wanted to stay close to a boyfriend. You all know how that works out. I regret caring too much about what other people thought of me. Being afraid to socialize outside of the classroom. When I was 17, I had my first three-way and got both girls pregnant. RuneScape Wasted three years on RuneScape. Sent the famous UK magician Paul Daniels some pretty bad emails. Not my smartest move sending it from the school network. 
He was a bona fide C-word, though. I regret not having fun. A lot of family issues started happening when I was a teenager and I moved around a lot, so I didn't really have any friends and stopped trying to make new ones. Liking anime. Also, telling people I liked anime. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories, or if you want some vibey music to put on in the background, check out Easy Mode. If you like Am I the Genius, give Am I the Jerk a shot. Everything linked in the description.